We finished building the printer and now it's time for the first print. So I will start uh, by turning the printer on and let's see, the LCD is on and everything seems fine. In some cases the printer will ask you to insert the flash drive to flash the latest firmware. So we will do that. And now I will just press the knob. And con confirm the flashing. So now the printer will flash the firmware and it will verify that everything went correctly. And just before we start the wizard, it is a good time to clean the heat bed from the fingerprints from the assembly. So if you go to accessories bag, there are some uh, IPA soaked towels, which are great for cleaning the bed. So you just take one and open it and gently wipe the steel sheet on the bed. More information about how to uh, treat the heated beds and steel sheets for best print adhesion can be found in the handbook. The printer now asks me if I want to start the wizard which I will confirm. Uh, the printer asked me if the filament sensor is connected. In our case it is, so I confirm it. And now we will, uh, now we will start the self-test, which will test all the components of the printer, including the axes, the hot end heater, the, the heated bed, and you will see the progress. So, confirm. First is the fan. Then axis. And now it's checking the hot end heater and the heat bed itself. Almost there. Okay, so all tests finished successfully, so we continue. Uh, now the printer wants to do first layer calibration, which will help uh, it find out what is the trigger distance from the from the mesh bed leveling sensor and the nozzle tip. So uh, we don't have any filament present, so we will do load. We will select PLA as the sample coming with the printers are PLA and the printer will park itself and heat up uh, for the filament insertion. Or it is actually heat up from the previous test, so I'll just uh, put in the filament through the filament sensor right up to the gears and click continue. Then the printer will load the filament. Yes. And you will be able to see it going through the PDFE tube to the hot end. And soon you will see the filament coming out. Yes. Okay, now the printer asks if the color is clear, which uh, enables you to extrude a little bit more filament. If there was uh, some filament present in the nozzle before, there might be some residual pigment, so you can purge it out. So when you are starting a new print, uh, the first layers are not compromised by the previous filament. So color is correct in our case, yes. And now we will go to the actual first layer calibration. Okay, the printer now is waiting for reaching the temperatures and it will do the mesh bed leveling and start printing a pattern during which we will be able to set the, set the correct distance. Okay, so now the printer is measuring 16 points on the bed and it will allow it basically to do a 3D map. So uh, during the printing, the nozzle will be able to contour uh, uh, around the surface. So the layer will be perfect on the whole print bed. 
And now we will we can see the first intro intro line, which uh, its function is to stabilize the pressure in the nozzle. And now you can see how how well the filament is squished. If it, if it seems uh, too high or it's not sticking to the bat, you can go counterclockwise and and basically make it uh, closer to the bat, which will improve adhesion. But also, if, if you can see through the filament, uh, it might mean that it is too, too low. Uh, you can always see how the first layer should look like in, in the bundled handbook. There are pictures, so you can get an idea what are you looking for. And at the end, it, it does uh, a small rectangle where you can where you can verify that everything is correct. Pretty spot on. So I will get some spatula to clean it before the first print. Because this looks pretty damn good. Now I will remove it. Be careful. Uh, these small uh, extrusion lines don't remove them by hand because you will uh, make the make the plate dirty again and you would have to use the IPA to clean it and uh, always the printer asks you if you want to repeat it in case you didn't get the right setting in time but we say no because it was pretty spot on okay so the the wizard is done and we can continue to the first print after the wizard is finished, the printer presents us with the first sample file. In this case, it's the nut model. So we just confirm it and uh, the printer will start to heat up and the print. You can see that uh, the temperatures are now flashing orange. That means that uh, the heater is heating it up. In case it's waiting for it to cool down, it will flash in blue. Okay, so the print is starting, the printer will do the mesh bed leveling as before every print and you will be able to uh, still correct the first layer, uh, first layer height uh, if you go to the tune menu and it works in first few layers. So even though you didn't get it perfect in the first layer calibration, you can always tweak it during the printing itself. And I suggest uh, you to watch the first few prints during the whole time so you can see if something uh, is going bad or if it doesn't stick uh, stick to the bat which is the most common case of, of problems with the printers so always watch the first layer now the printer is waiting for the final temperature because uh, before the mesh bed leveling it heats up only to 170 degrees so the nozzle doesn't put uh, uh, filament residue on the on the bed during the mesh bed leveling but our first layer seems spot on and it seems to stick in all places now so we will just wait how it turns out So our print is finished and that means that you know everything about your first print on original Prusa Mini. Let us know if you need any help or use help.prusa3d.com or use our live chat or customer support. Thank you and happy printing.